Hello. <laughs> There's a picture of a DBX, this one. It's, um, it's DBX that is eclipsing, if you like. It's in front of a, an anomaly. <laughs> it's in front of an anomaly that is found in a notable stellar phenomenon. I, I've seen lots of phenomena in Elite. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I've been to lots of them and, and seen an enormous amount of uh, mollusks and peduncle trees. But these are the first anomalies I've seen. I've been to loads of these places and seen lots of the, the crystals and the metallic crystals, the spiny ones, loads of them. They were present in this anomaly that I visited. The the crystals were, but um, but yeah, there's there's loads of different types of uh, crystals too. There's, there's all the different bits and bobs going on. Uh, but those those are the metallic ones. They they, they are officially referred to by uh, Frontier as uh, as spiky boys, I believe. <laughs> the the anomalies they're by, basically like space magic lightning. I like the space magic lightning. They, they, they react to the presence of your ship. I, I didn't try shooting it, I, I went up to it and it and it, um, it flexed its mighty space lightning muscles and prodded me away. And uh, I was in outside camera mode having a good look at it and enjoying myself and, uh, and I didn't really notice the red one. I was in the red one and I didn't really notice that it had me hauled down to about 35% whilst I was doing it. So, you know, it, not without its uh, peril, I suppose, minor peril. It was, it was just doing its thing and, 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 and you know, throwing off its um, plasma-like rays, I guess. Uh, it's beautiful to look at. I love them. They were really, really good. They, they were sort of floating around like little balls of, well, ball lightning in, 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 the, in the cloud. The cloud wasn't very um, bright. The Lagrange clouds that you can find these in, the, the, some of them are really intensely coloured, but this this was just quite dark, just a bit cloudy. And the um, these points of uh, lightning were the with the light was creating all the light. It's so good though. They're really really good. They're great fun. <laughs> I like the effect. Anyway, this is uh, me painting this time because I thought, well, I, I've got this really detailed little picture of the back end of my diamond back. So I thought, I'm not going to do a very good job of this in chalk because it always looks a bit chunky. So I decided to do it with paintbrush. I've got some new paintbrushes. They're so good. Uh, look how pointy that is. So um, I thought, well, I'll have a go with me with my paintbrush. And uh, I really enjoy painting this. I tr tried really hard. <laughs> Sometimes it looks a bit flat, I'll be honest. But it, it's quite detailed, so I'm pleased with that. Uh, I obviously have cheated using bits of pen and, and crayons here and there just just to, just to do it but I, I'm I, I vehemently of the opinion that if it looks okay at the end I, I, I shouldn't really care and I don't really care I like using watercolors and acrylics I I mean I, I love oil and oil is lovely because when you put it on the paper that's the color you get and that's the luster that you get Whereas um, acrylic, y you don't get that. Y you get y you get it after you've left it in the sun for half a day, and it's all crisped up and dried up and gone brown. But they're, they're so easy to use acrylics, and they dry so quickly, and it's just so effective way of putting on paint. My only hope is that the cheap acrylics I buy don't fade after a year. But I try not to think about that. To be honest, it's red that fades, and the paper's the red bit. So I'm hopeful that this will still retain some of its um, original colours. And now I'm putting chalk on because the the um, the blackness of space and the the um, the phenomena itself that I'm in front of. Uh, they are most easily and quickly done in chalk. This was the easiest and quickest bit of it, to be honest, because there's no detail involved. It's, 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 it's splodges of cloud. I love doing splodges of cloud. I really, really enjoyed doing this picture. And it's so rare that I, I, um, I draw one of my own screenshots. It was like a treat. It really was. I really enjoyed doing it. Because that, that, that red chalk that I used there is the brightest red chalk I've got. <laughs> we can't get rid of them, red, red chalk. Anyway, so I put some stars on with the new pointy paintbrush. It was just a really pleasurable thing to do. I really enjoyed doing this one. It's great fun. And uh, yeah, I, I hope it worked well because I think it turned out well. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.